why you still haven't tested positive for COVID-19. If you have had all your COVID-19 vaccination and boosters several months ago, or you haven't been vaccinated at all, and you still haven't tested positive for COVID-19 then this video is for you. We are going to look into what science indicates why you haven't tested positive for COVID-19. These reasons are based on medical research and don't conclusively confirm why you may not have had it yet. As always the scientific links are available in the description under this video. 8. Herbal Medicine While no herbal medicine can prevent you from testing positive for COVID-19, studies have shown they can be a powerful tool for boosting your immune system. Herbal medicines have been used by humans for many years in both the prevention and treatment of illness and disease. This is particularly true in the management of both bacterial and viral respiratory infections. This is supported further by public health data which has observed lower infection rates in communities using herbal prophylaxis such as greenfield, cytokines and elderberry in both China and India. Meaning that evidence-based herbal medicines may have the capacity to reduce your risk of infection. This is very effective when your vitamin C, D, K2 and zinc are at healthy levels. It is worthwhile to ask your doctor to test you to determine if vitamin supplementation is appropriate for you. 7. Your vitamin D levels. Evidence shows that people who have an adequate level of vitamin D are less likely to test positive for COVID-19. Several clinical studies, including the 2020 JAMA Natu open paper, have observed the hypothesis to be interestingly true. Research shows that if you are deficient in vitamin D, you are significantly more likely to become infected than people with sufficient vitamin D levels. This evidence provides a compelling argument that sufficient blood vitamin D levels during the COVID-19 pandemic were protective against positive infections, highlighting the importance of sufficient vitamin D daily supplementation. 6. Air pollution in your area. Evidence shows that people who live and work in the country or rural areas are far less likely to test positive for COVID-19. This is due to lower levels of air particle pollution and where people have more open spaces which naturally limits their social interaction with other people. People living in cities are more likely to test positive for COVID-19. So, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out that. If you're further away from people in the country or rural areas, then you're less likely to catch the virus. 5. Tree density near your home. Anyone who lives in an area where there are several trees has less chance of testing positive for COVID-19. Why? Trees, particularly those found in Southern and Western Europe, emit high levels of airborne chemicals called volatile organic compounds. These compounds have clinically proven immune modulating and antiviral activity. It was hypothesized that those breathing in air containing higher levels of these compounds receives a higher level of protection against airborne viral infections such as COVID-19. 4. Maintaining a healthy body weight. You are far less likely to test positive for COVID-19 if you are healthy and have a normal weight. Studies have shown that if you are obese you are three times more at risk of testing positive for COVID-19. There is also evidence that people with comorbidities including diabetes, chronic lower respiratory disease, hypertension, ischemic heart disease, urinary system disease and cardiovascular disease are all at an increased risk of testing positive for COVID-19. 3. Working out regularly. Similarly to maintaining a healthy body weight, consistent moderate exercise can avoid you testing positive for COVID-19. This can be five or more walking sessions per week of up to 60 minutes per session. This light, but effective activity, primes your immune system resulting in a reduced chance of testing positive for COVID-19. This moderate exercise will increase blood flow being pumped around your body, allowing more effective immune cells to navigate to the place of trouble fighting against the COVID-19 disease. 2. You have already had it. At the back end of the pandemic, the Omicron variant of COVID-19 simply made people suffer from mild cold and flu-like symptoms, if any symptoms at all. Is it possible that during this time you didn't test for COVID-19 and missed the window of opportunity where your test would have shown a positive result? 
1. Inaccuracy of tests. Rapid COVID-19 home tests often provide results within minutes and don't need to be analyzed in a laboratory by a specialist. Although these tests provide quick results, they aren't as accurate as laboratory tests because they require more of the virus in your sample to report a positive result. Rapid tests come with a high risk of giving a false negative result and have been proven to be only 79% accurate. It is possible you have not tested positive for COVID-19 due to an incorrect test result while you were suffering from the disease. You may have thought you had a cold or mild flu when taking the test. It is even possible you had an incorrect negative test result during your routine testing when you had no symptoms at all. While none of our top 8 reasons why you didn't test positive for COVID-19 is conclusive, there will likely never be one confirmed reason why you didn't catch COVID-19. This is a complex virus so there are many factors why you didn't test positive for COVID-19, we have simply listed the top 8 most likely reasons. But if you have not suffered from the current variant of COVID-19 then you are likely to test positive soon. Let me know your views in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video then please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you are watching on Facebook and you like what we're doing then share this video with your family and friends, and as always, thank you for watching.